Hey guys, Silverton here. Welcome back to Let's Play Axiom Verge. Last time we've learned how to read a new language. That's pretty much the most important thing we've done last time. We also got the address bomb. I think it was last time and not the time before. And now we're going further up into this area because there are only two real power-ups left for us to get and I would like to get both of them before I go on my little cleanup spree. We can't get to that power-up currently. We'll be able to get that get to that power-up on the way back. And I would like to come on. Oof. I would like to get all of the power-up or the two remaining major power-ups before we go on the little cleanup spree. And hopefully that won't be too difficult. Let's see, I can go down. Oh no, I can't go down it's there. I should really have been thinking to have the gun out and shooting. Alright, let me see. We can go over. There's not much we can do against that. I don't know why it does like that. I don't know. We'll have to. Come on. Gotta use the freaking. Not quite a double jump thing to get up here. Oh god, where are you? There we go. Okay. Well, I have that all on map now, so now I just gotta go all the way back up. Come on. Yay. Stuff that I can't really make use out of. Nothing useful for us that way. We'll actually come back from that direction, if I recall, because very close to us is a boss fight. Oh, God, this boss fight. I am fully, fully expecting to die in this fight. So I'm going to save first. Because that seems like the smart thing to do. This boss. One thing I'm going to say about the boss right now is that there's an achievement for this game for corrupting every enemy you come across. This boss has ads and you want to corrupt them. Yeah, I, I would agree with you fully. It doesn't. Alright, uh, what gun do I even want for this? I think I want Vosrin. Yep, and those are the things you want to be able to corrupt because can miss them. Oh god, am I already halfway dead? I am already halfway dead. Alright, gotta watch for its tells. If it, if it rears back like that, it's obviously gonna be spitting out babies. Come on, don't freaking corner me. Is there any other tell for before it lunges? Oh, I don't think there's a good tell for before it, when it lunges. Well, you've pretty much seen the boss fight. I don't think it does anything more but get faster as the fight goes on, so... After this, I'm probably just gonna see you guys... When I actually succeed in this boss fight. Because, ha 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 God help me. I hate this boss fight so fucking much. Come on. Spam buttons! Spam buttons harder! I'm not spamming buttons hard enough! I'm not spamming buttons hard enough! Come on! I can spam buttons harder than this! Yes! I hate this boss so much. The fact I did this in my second try amazes me so much. Oh, I hate this boss. Alright. Now to get this whole room on map, because I don't want to come back up here ever. Ever. And now the whole room is on map. Perfect. Now then, while that boss is an enormous pain in the butt, he does also have a very, very interesting upgrade waiting for us. I like this upgrade. But this upgrade, so much that is left for us is opened up. 
teleports you to the location of your remote drone. Yeah. Anywhere the remote drone can get, Trace can now go. Oh, I can clip through two white things? I don't think it told us we could do that. Well, we can clip through two white things now, so... Good to know. Alright, and that should be... Do I have this all on map now? Yes. That should be everything we need up here now. Oh god, that was so freaking nasty. And with this upgrade, we can now get into this, because... The remote drone could not technically jump up high enough to get there, and it could not get through there either. So with the ability to swap between the two, pretty much interchangeably... Bam. It's also going to be kind of a form of pseudo-move-faster. It's not like fast travel or anything. I'm I swear I can talk. I will demonstrate that shortly once we get into a more open area. Probably down here, to be honest. And... Boom. So I'll demonstrate that down here as I move to get parts of this on the map. Which is to say... Yeah, I want the lightning back. I want the lightning back. The lightning is good. Alright. So. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I want to get that. Alright, so let me see. How is it that this works? There is a way to... There's a way to glitch this out since there's actually a cooldown between being able to use the remote drone again. That is also a very tricky execution challenge, since you need to... on You need to teleport to the drone and then instantly warp through the wall. And our reward for that is another Bioflux Accelerator. So the little tentacles we got when we are at full health, now we have more of them. So many of these things now. There might actually be one other upgrade. I don't. I know there's one other upgrade. There might be two other upgrades. But I could be wrong. Let's see. This. See, what I need to do is this. Perfect. That is not nearly as easy as it may seem to be. And I don't think it actually seems that easy, to be honest. Really? Are you telling me I could have done this? Oh, hey, there's a house back up. So I wanted to do this. Perfect. I am a genius. Occasionally. Not, not really. Not that often. Alright, and one more of those to have our full health pick up. Let's see, we don't have this area fully on map, and I know where we want to go next, actually. And with this power up, we can do this. With this power up, there's a lot of stuff we can do, but I'm going to be heading straight for where the next power up that I know we can get is. But yeah, there is a way to trick out doing this to have infinite vertical height. And I believe. Darn it, I could have shown off the effect there. But I... It affects canceling or resetting the cooldown for the drone. And I don't remember how you do that. I would have to check or mess around. Or maybe I'll just mess around with enough and figure it out. One of the two. But regardless, I'm not going to worry about it too much at the moment. Well, they are followed by nothing but a swarm of bombs. That's kind of amusing, to be honest. Alright, so where we need to go now is going to be actually over here. Darn it, I almost managed to trick him out. Almost! That did not work properly. You can use that to essentially go a little faster. It's a lot better in open areas, which I should actually be able to demonstrate here. There we go. So, the trick for that is just to do this. 
repeatedly since that is faster than what Trace moves. It's not a lot faster, but it'll still get you places a bit faster. Oh good, I only needed like I only needed one of you to turn into bombs. But that's fine. Alright, let's use another bomb since I have them. And because these guys seem to love dropping bombs. I prefer if they dropped health. All right, what is up here for us to grab? A doorway. That doorway in map. We don't need that little elevator thing. We can just do this. All right. I'm going to reset that room. That worked out totally in my favor. I don't know what you're talking Why are you still there? Oh, God. Oh, God. That somehow worked out in my favor. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to kill him, get his health, and grab whatever the reward is at the end of this room. I know this room exists for a reason, damn it. Bingo. This room exists for a good reason, to be honest. A health and a power pickup. You never have enough of both. And now that I have full health, I can show off exactly what that um, Bioflux thing did. See, now I have a tentacle shooting on both top and bottom. And that's all it does. But I do like the little tell they have there with the how that worm goes around the room and how they have other worms in there just to try to show it off. They do have a lot of nice tells. If you are paying attention, they have a tell for pretty much every secret that I can think of. I'm gonna have to freaking trick this out to go up to get that final bit of room. Or they conveniently provided a little wall there for you to stand on. Awesome! These game developers are on top of things. Oh, sweet. I can work through that. I wasn't sure if I could. Um. I still can't take advantage of that from down below. But we can take advantage of stuff in this room now. And I fully intend to take advantage of stuff in this room. Since it's been a while since we've been in this part of the game, and we have so much more shit now. Let me see, is there anything on this first? I don't think there's anything much on this first floor I want to look at. No. I know there's definitely stuff on the second I care to see. So let's get up to the second room. There's at least a weapon in this room. There's a weapon and a minor power up or two. So we're going to be trying to get our hands on all of that. Let's see. Let's see, it's. the freaking Oh, that is not the button I wanted to press. Mm, no, because you would eventually lose height by doing all that. I don't remember what the freaking trick is, and I feel so annoyed that I can't think of it. And whatever, I'll deal with the boulders first. What was the trick? I know there was a trick, because I know it was doable. It wasn't easy, but it was doable. Alright, so let me see. Let me see. It's right around. There it is. Bingo. Welcome to more corruption. Let's see if I actually get anything worthwhile in this one. Oh, this video is going to drag on now. I'm going to have to end it off after this. 
but I don't care. This... I'm getting better at spotting these secret worlds now that I know what to look for. I mean, the first one I went into was kind of obvious, all things considered. And the other ones have been more hidden. With just this little tell of the uh, background where it starts to go weird. Though, I think I'm getting better at spotting the tells. I don't know if there's any others I've walked over. You know what? Let's just put that in my favor right now. Alright. And I can stand, they're perfect. It's really hard to tell where you can stand and where you can't in this area, I will admit. Oh, that is, that is, that is acid. As it hurts. As it hurts! As it really hurts. So we can go up and over. Let's go over first. And over we find a small health pickup. I think this is the last one we need for more health. Yes, it is. So we get more health. I have so much health currently. And then we can go up. Or maybe we can. Alright, let me look at this map. Uh, looks like there's only one area on this map I have not gone yet. And there should be weapons hidden in this area. I don't know where they are, since I haven't seen any of them yet. But there should be weapons hidden in this area. Just need to find them. It's down. Down there is a thing off to the left. I would want to corrupt them, except corrupting these guys doesn't really seem to help too much in my memory. Man, these guys take too much damage. Way too much damage. Uh, what's in here? More places to go. Address bomb. Okay. Weapon? Address bomb. Come on. Give me a weapon. Give me a weapon, please. Or you're just gonna keep going down. Okay. Whatever. And then we'll be good. You know what? Don't care. And then I got my axe on back. Come on, come on. I will drill you. This drill is still very useful. Still very, very useful. And what's this size? Size note. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's all there is in here, so. I'll see you guys back outside of the glitch zone. Huh. So nice power-ups. That was fun. That was fun. Very fun. Alright, I'm back in this area still. This is just going to be a longer freaking video. I should be used to those things by now. This entire series has been full of longer videos. Oh, I can't clip through that. I need another power-up for that. Spoilers, there's something hidden in there. But I can't get to it yet. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep going. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. See, I know I can do this. I know I can do all this. Okay. There we go. I know I can do this. I'm better than this game. There we go. That is trickier than it needs to be. It feels like there was something up there. And now I gotta go all the way back up. Because I think I know how I get to that. 
I think. <sighs> this game. I know I can get up there. Fine, I won't get up there. I suppose it's not that important that I get up there anyway. Um, let's see, if I am to get over there, then... No, I don't get over there. I don't get over there. I go up. Okay, I was wrong. But that entire area is on the map now. This was the map I was thinking of. Oh boy. I oh mean, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I swear I'm good at this game, guys. I swear I'm good at this game. But I could just do this and be done with it, so... Damn it. I gotta reset this room now. Really, you bastards! I hate these enemies! Come on. Come on. Ugh. I hate these little enemies, by the way. Not enough enemy or not enough health to stop the freaking beeping, but better. Just need a little more health. What was over there? None of that really helps me in the current run of this game. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to actually get health from you. I don't need to do that, but it's useful. What I need to do is go back down here so I can get this freaking thing. Because I know I can do it now. I think I tried pointing off, pointing it out before, but I failed to because of reasons. I'll go with reasons. Oh god, he's still all the way over there. He is still over there. Okay, well, I can get up there now, so that's all that matters. I said I can get up there now, and that's all that matters. Oh, I can do this now. Perfect. Then I just destroy a little bit of it. Um, yeah, that's about all I think I can do. There should be something more here, like maybe something up here, or whatever. I can be full of it. I'm good at this game, guys. That's why I keep falling from impossibly high heights on very simple jumps. Very simple jumps. Despite all of the jump shenaniganry that Trace is now capable of. And it is a lot of jump shenaniganry that Trace is currently capable of. But, whatever. Our goal, however, is actually this room, so I can get up there. Yeah, our goal, however, is actually this room. And not just because there's a thing up here we can grab, but because we can finally get into the temple off to the side. Let's see, we retrieve what remains of your belongings from the silo. The old machines are yours. Clergy is yours. Free reign to either redeem or condemn yourselves. Choose well. Well then, that's interesting to know. But yeah, that's been enough for this video, so I'm going to save now. So next time, we're going to be progressing off into that area to the right that we just did not have the height to get into, because unless I'm gravely, gravely mistaken, which it wouldn't be the first time, we should have the capability to get in there now that we can teleport to our remote drones. Trace is standing on nothing. Trace just standing on nothing. It's like the best standing on nothing ever. But until then, guys, I will see you all... What? What?
Until then, guys, I'll see you all next time. Later! I just like breaking this game, it seems. I just really, really like breaking this game. I, I can't explain how or why.